How's it? It's ISO Casual Gamer at its finest. So with the alpha testing for World War 3 coming up again, that's from September 30th to October 4th, we have a lot of talk within the community saying, is this going to be the Battlefield 2042 killer? And I'm going to give you the short answer right now. I'm going to tell you no. Now, with that though, I never expected World War 3 to be a Battlefield 2042 killer. I never expected World War 3 to try to be a Battlefield game. Yes, they're similar genres, right? And they're kind of having a similar take on that type of gameplay and such. But I see World War 3 as its own game, right? Yes, there's similarities, but World War 3 is its own game. So no, I never compared it to Battlefield 2042 because I wanted to see how they took that their take on the genre, right? which they did have a really good kind of baseline for it with their initial release on Steam, but they had a lot of issues. Obviously, it just wasn't up to par. And I'm really excited to see what this build's gonna be on September 30th when they release a new alpha. And you know, thankfully I'll be able to play because I bought the game on Steam. Battlefield is gonna be its own game, okay? World War III is gonna be its own game. You can have two similar genres. You don't have to only have one. Because again, for all we know, Battlefield 2042 might suck. We have no idea. World War 3 with the new build, it might suck. We have no idea. I don't know yet, right? I'm excited for both, okay? I can see myself playing Battlefield 2042, and then I can see myself going and play World War 3, right? So it's just really once I get my hands on both games, you know, I'm still waiting for the beta for Battlefield, and then we have the alpha coming up for World War 3. I'm really excited to see what both games are doing. Um, of course, Battlefield with EA, that's such a huge company. They've been doing this for years. And then we have Farm 51 with World War 3. Think of it more like an indie game, right? And again, indie games aren't bad. Indie games can be amazing. And at times, indie games can be better than AAA titles. So don't sleep on World War 3. But as much as it might be a good thing for World War 3 to compare the two, at least treat World War 3 as its own game. And of course, Battlefield 2042 as its own game. You know what I'm saying? That's just my take on it. That's how I feel. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But yeah, that's all I got. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Shoots.